What's up? Um, we're gonna do another spin art painting and this one is going to be various blues and sorry, fire truck. Two fire trucks. So anyways, we're gonna do a painting with various blues and I'm liking the swipe technique that's assisted by the spinning. And I'm gonna try this time to do it whilst not ever making it spin too much because when it spins too much, the paint breaks up into a lot of tiny little cells that look like almost like shooting stars. And I wanna avoid that this time. It, it was great in some of them. I liked the way that looked, but in this last one, I oh, hopefully I can do like a still shot of it while I'm talking. I, half of it had the spun effect and the other half didn't. And I was reminded of how beautiful the swipes are without that spinning shooting star added zoomed out effect. So I'm gonna use the spin art to assist a, a spirally swipe without ever hitting the gas so much that it that it uses that centrifugal force to force the paint out. We'll see. Maybe I'll decide. I, I'm really bad about planning ahead without totally changing my mind along the way, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. You ready? Start with some white. And you might be wondering how I've attached this to my wheel. I have screwed the yardstick into the frame here and here. And then I have a bat that is connected to the potter's wheel that I have screwed into the, um, the yardstick here and here. So the yardstick's attached to the canvas, the bat's attached to the yardstick, the bat, the, the wheel is attached to the bat. All right, so we're gonna go with some more purpley blues this time. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm going to, I love, 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 love that indigo color so much. Um, and then I've got, well, that's ultramarine is what that is. This is your indigo. Yeah, and I don't have a lot of it, so. That's it. That's all my indigo. I think my plan already went out the window, huh? I don't even remember what I said I was gonna do. Um, this is tinted ultramarine blue, so it's just the ultramarine blue with white added. Okay, we're gonna spin it and we're gonna swipe it. See what happens. 
key is I don't want to spin it too quickly this time. I like that and I like that there's white up here. I'm just not sure how I feel about what is peeking through in the center. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Sorry about the bell. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at it for a second. bubbles. want to look at it from a different angle. It turned into a wave anyway. I think I'm going to let it be a wave. And so I might um, blow a little white up in there. Or should I leave it? Oh, why is it so hard to leave it alone? I think I'm going to leave it. I had to turn the lights off because I was just getting a lot of glare, but hopefully you can still see. And I apologize for all the red in the background. That was just what I had as far as a paper to avoid the drips all over my table. This one's got some pretty colors in it. I'm excited about that. And it's got the barrel wave feel. Um, I wasn't really going for that, but that's what I got anyway. It's cool. Got some pretty colors. We'll see how it dries. Hey, one more thing. If you haven't visited my channel lately, you might not know that I have a new playlist called Resin incorporating into my acrylic pour paintings. On this playlist, we have some instructional videos at the beginning, and then it goes to more demonstrational videos where you see how I do my layering technique. There are almost 30 videos that show different ways that I've incorporated resin under, between, and on top of different artworks. So check it out. Let me know what you think. It's a whole playlist just for those of you that are resin lovers. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharp.com. Bye.